Hi everybody, my name is Brayden, and I actually just had the Lynx implant surgery with a hiatal hernia repair as well two days ago on Wednesday, September 12th of 2018. Today is the second day of recovery. They kept me overnight at the hospital. I wasn't allowed to eat or drink anything up until the next morning when they made me do a swallow test just to make sure there wasn't a leak or anything in my uh, repair in the hiatal hernia. After that, I was moved to a clear liquid diet. That all went down without any problems, um, and then they sent me home for on a full diet. I guess one thing I have to say is I, I've done an awful lot of reading on this procedure, and I've also spent a lot of time in support groups and, and um, looking on Facebook groups, things like that, to try and figure out exactly what, what I can expect. And while it's different for everyone, there are a lot of similarities in the surgery. The first being when I woke up, um, in the recovery room, I didn't feel any incision site pain from the, the five um, laparoscopic incisions that they made. What I did feel was the gas pain that everyone talks about in the shoulders. Um, it was it was pretty intense. I mean, it wasn't the worst pain I've ever felt. Obviously, I was probably on some kind of drug, so I wouldn't really know about it. But it definitely, uh, it definitely hurt. One thing that really helped was just walking and also uh, heat pads. I've got one on right now, actually just to try and soothe my, my one shoulder. I don't know if maybe because of the way I was, maybe it was the way I slept in the hospital, but who knows. But uh, most of the gas pain seems to have gone away. It's just shoulder pain uh, right now. That That's kind of my primary uh, concern. As far as eating goes, I've been trying to take it very, very slow. Um, same as what the support groups all say, just eat a little bit every hour as much as possible. I was very, very, very scared uh, for the first couple of bites of mashed potatoes. I probably ate half a teaspoon and it went down just fine. So I do know that they say around the seven to 10 day mark, things start getting more interesting. So I'll do my best to try and update at that point. Um, I know that there's a lot of things, a lot of dysphagia. Some people experience uh, spasms at that point. So far, I'm lucky I'm not on any pain medication. The only medication I'm really on is Aleve, just over-the-counter Aleve. I've been taking um, two in the morning. Well, I took two this morning and then um, one midday. I'll probably try and take another two throughout the course of the day as well, just so that um, the inflammation stays down. Uh, to From what I've read, that seems to be the biggest uh, biggest thing, the inflammation around the, the links. And you have to keep everything... Well, not swollen, basically. Everything's trying to swell because it's trying to heal, but I'm trying to keep that down as much as possible. The goal, again, is to use the links at least once every hour to try and um, keep the scar tissue from from forming too tightly around it, and that will cause more dysphagia, allegedly. So my meal today has been saltine crackers just kind of regularly, uh, which seem to go down just fine. I have been working on a banana. I took an I ate an, uh, I ate an egg this morning and that all came just fine as well. So yeah, I'm I'm just pretty much relaxing, um, trying to do a couple brief walks back and forth throughout the house just to try and get myself um, mobile. I guess I did have a bout of mm, diarrhea this morning. It, it was the first time that I've had a bowel movement since before the surgery. I don't know if that counts, but hey, it was better than nothing. So that was good. Um, I guess. But otherwise, I mean, strange kind of sounds coming from the links. I would call it, well, actually, someone in the support group said it sounds like a kitchen sink draining. And that's actually kind of a, a, a very good analogy for what it sounds like. Um, it's a gurgle noise. I'm also burping a little bit. They're not my normal burps, I wouldn't say, but it's definitely like a bubble kind of burp. It's not a bad, bad thing at all. Um, nothing is painful yet, so I'm... I'm hopeful that this recovery will be smooth. I expect there to be some setbacks at some point, especially in the next couple of weeks when, when the scar tissue is forming. But everyone says the biggest thing you can do is just to keep eating throughout it all. As far as the reason I went in for the procedure, well, um, a couple of things. First of all, my father passed away of esophageal cancer at age 48. So, of course, that's a bit of a reason to be concerned. But my main primary concern was I was having pain, like right here, a, a lot. It would be if I would eat something funny. It would be if um, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed that day. There wasn't real rhyme or reason to it. But it was definitely something that 
impacted my life. And I had been experiencing it for about two years. As it turns out, after a couple of, um, after an EGD and other uh, tests, it was determined it was a small sliding hiatal hernia, which was confirmed by the surgeon as well and repaired. They, I don't know, push it back down and sew it up or something. But um, that pain is, is gone. I don't, it, it's not there anymore, which is incredible. As far as reflux symptoms, I don't feel like I really had it. But now that I have the links, maybe I did. And I just didn't really realize that it was a problem. I mean, I, I would get things coming up, but I it was probably something I've experienced for so long that I, it was normal to me. Now that this device is in there, I'm not feeling that, which is kind of strange. Like I said, um, I know that I'll have some swallowing issues probably starting at day seven, um, going through week six, depending on how my body reacts to everything. But again, I'm just taking a leave to try and eliminate some of the swelling. So that's day uh, two of the links. So any questions, let me know. But that's pretty much it, I think.